Welcome to our video on passive circuit elements and active circuit elements. In this video, we will explore the fundamental components that make up electronic circuits and their roles in shaping the flow of electricity. We will delve into the world of passive circuit elements such as resistors, inductors, capacitors, transformers, switches, fuses, and thermistors. Additionally, we will uncover the realm of active circuit elements, including batteries, diodes, Zener diodes, SCR, DIAC, triac, current sources, AC voltage sources, transistors, NPN, op amps, NMOSFETS, varactors, triodes, and NJFETS. So let's dive in and unravel the mysteries behind these essential building blocks of electronic systems. Passive circuit elements. Resistor, a resistor is an electronic component that restricts the flow of electric current in a circuit. It is represented by a zigzag line in circuit diagrams. The value of a resistor is measured in ohms and determines the amount of resistance it provides to the current. Inductor, an inductor is a passive component that stores energy in the form of a magnetic field when current flows through it. It resists changes in current flow. In circuit diagrams, an inductor is represented by a coil or a series of loops. Capacitor, a capacitor is a passive component that stores electrical energy in an electric field. It consists of two conductive plates separated by an insulating material called a dielectric. Capacitors are used to store and release electrical energy in circuits. They are represented by parallel lines in circuit diagrams. Transformer. A transformer is a passive electrical device that transfers electrical energy between two or more circuits through electromagnetic induction. It consists of two or more coils of wire, windings, and is used to step up or step down voltage levels. Transformers are often represented by two coils with a shared magnetic core in circuit diagrams. Switch. A switch is an electrical component that can open or close a circuit, allowing or interrupting the flow of current. It is represented by a simple line with a gap that can be closed or connected. Fuse, a fuse is a protective device used in electrical circuits to prevent damage from excessive current. It consists of a thin wire that melts and breaks the circuit when the current exceeds a certain threshold. Fuses are represented by a squiggly line in circuit diagrams. Thermistor, a thermistor is a type of resistor whose resistance changes with temperature. It is used to measure and control temperature in electronic circuits. Thermistors can be either positive temperature coefficient, PTC, or negative temperature coefficient, NTC, devices. Active circuit elements. Battery. A battery is a device that converts chemical energy into electrical energy. It provides a constant voltage source in a circuit, allowing a continuous flow of current. The positive terminal is represented by a longer line, and the negative terminal is represented by a shorter line. Diode, a diode is a semiconductor device that allows current to flow in only one direction. It acts as a one-way valve for electric current. Diodes are represented by a triangle pointing towards the direction of current flow in circuit diagrams. Zener diode, a Zener diode is a specialized type of diode that is designed to operate in the reverse breakdown region. It is used for voltage regulation and protection against voltage spikes. Zener diodes are represented similarly to regular diodes, but with a bent line on the cathode side. SCR, silicon controlled rectifier and SCR is a four-layer solid state device that acts as a switch, allowing current to flow in one direction when a control signal is applied. It is widely used in power control applications. SCRs are represented by three stack layers with a control terminal. DIAC, diode for alternating current A DIAC is a two-terminal device that conducts current in both directions when a certain voltage threshold is reached. It is often used in triggering triacs and other devices in AC circuits. Diacs are represented by two diodes connected back-to-back. Triac, a triac is a three-terminal semiconductor device that can conduct current in both directions. It is often used for controlling AC power to devices such as dimmer switches and motor speed controllers. Triacs are represented by two back-to-back -back SCRs sharing a common terminal. Current source, a current source is an active component that provides a constant current output, 
regardless of changes in the circuit parameters or load. It is represented by a circle with an arrow pointing inward or outward, indicating the direction of current flow. AC voltage source An AC voltage source is a device that generates an alternating current AC signal with a specific voltage and frequency. It is represented by a sine wave or a circle with a squiggly line inside, indicating an AC signal. Transistor NPN A transistor is a three-terminal semiconductor device used for amplification and switching applications. An NPN transistor is one type of bipolar junction transistor, BJT, where the majority current carriers are negative charge carriers, electrons. It is represented by three layers with an arrow pointing inward on the emitter side. Op-amp, operational amplifier and operational amplifier is a high-gain voltage amplifier with differential inputs and a single output. It is widely used in signal processing and amplification circuits. Op-amps are represented by a triangle with two input terminals and one output terminal. N-MOSFET, a N-MOSFET, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, is a type of field effect transistor where the majority charge carriers are negative charge carriers, electrons. It is widely used in digital and analog circuits. NMOSFETS are represented by three layers with an arrow pointing outward on the source side. Varactor, a varactor, also known as a varicap diode, is a type of diode that exhibits a variable capacitance depending on the applied voltage. It is used for tuning and frequency control in electronic circuits. Varactors are represented similarly to regular diodes, but with two curved lines on the cathode side. Triode, a triode is an electronic vacuum tube or valve with three electrodes, a cathode, a control grid, and an anode. It can be used as an amplifier or an electronic switch. Triodes are represented by three lines connected to the cathode, control grid, and anode. NJFET, N-channel junction field effect transistor and NJFET is a type of field effect transistor where the majority charge carriers are negative charge carriers, electrons. It is used for amplification and switching applications. NJFETS are represented by a line with an arrow pointing inward on the source side. And there you have it, an in-depth exploration of passive circuit elements and active circuit elements. We've covered a wide range of components, from resistors and capacitors to transistors and op-amps, each playing a crucial role in electronic circuits. Understanding these elements is vital for any electronics enthusiast or aspiring engineer. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into the world of circuit components and their functionalities. Feel free to explore further and experiment with these elements to create your own innovative electronic designs. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.